Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you all are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, we're going to take a look at Secret Window. Now, this is a 2004 film, um, this is starring Johnny Depp and uh, this was requested over on Tier 5. And I'm going through a real a real emotional state seeing what's happening to, to, to this man and I really hope... I really hope that that Amber gets her just desserts and gets karma coming her way for being manipulative, and I'll I'll be the one that speaks out, and I don't I don't care, guys, I don't care at all. I'll be I'll be one that speaks out about it, and you 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 hear from everyone, and you know everyone that cl that's close to Johnny Depp that knows he's not a violent person. Yeah, he may have his drug problems. Yeah, he may have his alcohol problems. But he's not abusive, and it's it's so sad to see someone being taken advantage of, and I, 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 my heart absolutely breaks like watching some of these things inside of the court hearings, and me being a male myself, knowing that I would never hurt a woman in my life, I would never lay a hand on a woman, I would never do anything like that to a woman ever. <clears throat> ever. It breaks my heart because, like, you don't know if it could happen to you. I more than likely it's not going to happen with my wife here. Yeah? You you don't know, but more than likely it's not going to happen with Tanya because I know who Tanya is. Yeah, she's not a violent person at all whatsoever. But I'm that type of person that I I would never lay a hand on a woman ever ever. And I'm trying to teach my son that way too. I'm trying to teach my son those ways and. It's it's heartbreaking knowing that what my family members have gone through and my family member who has gone through very similar thing to, to what Johnny Depp's going in, how you can be <clears throat> you can be absolutely screwed just because you're the male on these sorts of things. And I'm my wife knows this guys. When it comes to abuse to women, I'm, I'm one of the ones who stands up against it, and I hate it. I hate abuse against women, but also it goes the other way, guys. It also goes the other way, and I'm trying to teach my son how to respect women, and I'm so scared. You have no idea, guys, how, how scared I am of him being taken advantage of when he grows up. Because he's such a lovely boy. He's such a lovely boy. He has such a lovely personality. And it's it's scary. It is. It legit is scary, guys. Because it's... I've been witnessing everything the last few years. And then seeing this Johnny Depp's case. I can talk about it because it's not my family member, yeah? And it's a bit... It's a bit disrespectful for me to talk about my family member. What's happened to my family member. But... Everything that has happened with Johnny Depp, it's just, it's absolutely disgusting. As someone can absolutely rip someone apart without any actual evidence. It's just unbelievable. And to everyone that is stuck by Johnny Depp's side, I congratulate you. Dior, you are amazing. You are absolutely amazing for sticking by Johnny. And I'm telling you guys right now, the people that have hurt Johnny Depp and the people that haven't stuck by him are the ones that are going to burn in hell and they're going to burn real quick. And I, and I don't care if I say that or not, guys. I honestly don't care if I say that or not. Because that man has just been through hell and back. The abuse that he's suffered and you know he's he, he's been through abuse. He even went through abuse with his childhood too. I mean, come on, this is the exact same man where his sister had to book an extra room in an extra hotel to ex so she knew that there was violence going on in the relationship, yeah, but she had never witnessed it, but she knew about it. So she booked an extra room so Johnny could run away and hide because that's the type of person he is. With violence, he used to run away and hide when he was younger. And this has all been well documented. I don't know how one person, 
one person can manipulate so many people. And that's why I want justice serve. I want justice serve. And I'm getting emotional because I think about it. Like I said, being a father, being a male myself, it's so it, it's so heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking. I mean, when I was when I first became a father, I took my son into the kids' change rooms, into a shopping mall, and I had a lady call me perverted because I took my son to change my son in the change rooms. This is the sort of things that happen to us males all the time we get ridiculed people abuse women and then every male gets ridiculed every male gets frowned upon but nothing is said the other way around when the abuse happens the other way around and it's sad it's it's absolutely sad the way the world is when it comes to that Straight away, the first thought was for everyone to believe her instead of him. What? Because of the way he looks, because of the way he dresses, because he has tattoos. And yet that plays a role in everything. Anyway, guys. Secret window. I'm sorry about that. Secret window. <clears throat> secret window guys we're going to take a look at and um i really do hope that uh, i don't want to keep talking about it. i really do hope that this this isn't the end of johnny i really do hope i really really do hope because it's a sad thing seeing such an amazing amazing actor who carried that pirates of the caribbean franchise for god's sakes who quite literally was magnificent, absolutely in magnificent, magnificent in Fantastic Beasts. To see everything just ripped and ruined. And I know financially it's going to be a burden on him. I know financially he's going to be okay. But it's not about that. It's about his mental, guys. It's about his mental. And... He is a very strong person and I hope he doesn't do anything silly because this is the makings of someone that eventually commits suicide because they can't handle it or overdose. It's what you guys don't realize. This can lead to him overdosing and all it takes is for him to mix the pills and mix the alcohol and want to give up. And I swear to you guys right now, if it ends up bad for him, he's going to do it. And you just know he's going to bloody do it. Anyway. Turn around. Turn the car around. And get the hell out of here. Don't go back. Do not go back there. What's the main parameters behind this movie? I just feel like there's so many people on Johnny's side, but yet there's no one there helping him. No one there helping him with the with the with the alcohol problems, with the drug problems. And yet Hollywood and all big time superstars around the world go through the alcohol abuse and the the drug abuse every single day and yet now he's frowned upon because it's out in the public he's frowned upon because he does it (laughs) it's been very tough on him and yeah he wants to be ridiculed 
this man's getting embarrassed in court by someone. <laughs> uh, I will refuse to watch any of her movies. And I'll be making sure I look to see if anything is, if she's in the movies at all. But I'm never watching her movies. I'm on Johnny's side. I'm on Johnny's side, guys. I'm never watching Aquaman. Never watching Aquaman. Mind you, she's still being casted in Aquaman too. Just, just putting it out there, yeah? This is the exact same woman that literally stood in the hallway and bashed another man bashed him this is why I have anxiety over this stuff you stole my story I don't believe I know you I know that that doesn't matter I know you mr. Rainey that's what matters I don't read my you read this one already you stole it. You can call my literary agent. This or... is between you and me. All right, look, Mr. Whoever you are, I don't like being accused of plagiarism. I don't blame you for not liking it, but you did it. This has got to be settled. So far as I'm concerned, it is. Zlo, the hell was that? Why is there like, like suspenseful music, like it's horror? Mm -hmm. Sewing season, John Shooter. Never heard of your story. Where was I? Sleeping. <laughs> Bro, there's something that's gonna happen. I, I just feel it. I just feel it. It's gonna turn dark and something's gonna happen. That guy will come back and... I'm open to suggestions. Four days after Georgia confirmed to his own satisfaction that his wife was cheating on him. Just bad writing. What the hell? Did he throw that in the bin? Or was it the cleaner? Oh, the Oh, cleaner. I found one of your stories in the trash, Mr. Rainey. Oh. I thought you might want <laughs> it, so... Now you're being forced. Now you're being forced to read it. Todd Downey thought that a woman oh. would steal your love. From By your the way, mine was about Gallipoli. My 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 story was about Gallipoli. Yeah. Who would bury her in the deep corner formed where the house and the barn came together at an extreme angle? Oh, thank God! From the sound of you, I didn't know what to think. Really, yeah. I'll take care of this, Mr. Rain. You go on back to work. I didn't write this. Oh, I thought it was one of those um. What you call them? Pseudonames. Mrs. Garvey, what I'm trying to tell you is that someone else wrote this story. Oh, okie dokie then. I don't get it. I probably do, but I'm a bit stupid at the moment. A woman who would steal your love when your love was all you had wasn't much of a woman. He even knew the place you would bury her. The exact place. He'd bury her in the garden she loved more than she loved him. Huh. Gotta get rid of some of that stuff. Look at this, it's awful. No wonder they left it. It's a secret window. Oh, this is perfect. It's a secret window and it'll look down on a secret garden. So... <sighs> so I wonder if that guy used to live where he lives now. Did that other fella used to live here as well? What made them write the exact same thing? And how is that possible? I didn't steal it. <laughs> oh, look what? at the dog. Mr. Rainey! Uh -huh. I'm all done. Really? So soon? Well? There's something I want to say. Oh, no. Some women don't know a good thing when they got it. Not another word from me. Oh, that... I hope the desk isn't on play. Oh, Mr. Rainey. Uh -huh. You're a good man, <laughs> Mr. Rainey. You too, Mrs. Garvey. My personal business, Mrs. Garvey. Thank you very much. My personal Wait. business. Oh. Why is there no rails on those stairs? Jesus Christ. Oh no. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't live in a house like that. No way. I've always said this, bro. Like going downstairs, I crap my dax, honestly. Cause bro, you, 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 like one slip. 
you could have perfect balance, but anything, there could be like a little bit of moisture on the floor from something, yeah? And bang, you're gone, you're dead. Neck snapped, pelvis crushed, hips broken, whatever. I didn't steal that story. He's got a bloody easy, hasn't he? Bloody sleeping. Ooh, what the hell? Ooh. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. What goes next? Hello. Hello, Mort. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Why wouldn't I be alright? I don't know. I had one of those feelings I get. I know you think they're stupid and you don't believe them, but I believe them. Well, I don't know what to tell you except I'm fine. Nothing weird happened or anything? Do you remember Secret Window? What? My story, you know, the one where the... Gee, I miss your constructive criticism. I really do. What about the story, Mort? What do you mean influenced, anyway? I don't know. Like by another story? Look. You swore the one time was the only time. Forget it, please, please, just forget it. How's Ted? <sighs> He's fine. He and I should get together sometime, have a drink, because, you know, we've been to a lot of the same places. You know what? I gotta go. So do I. Did you guys get that? Did you honestly just get that joke? Ha 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 ha! He and I have been to a lot of the same places. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't on the verge of doing Snoopy dances. <laughs> no, Mart. He's coming over later. He hardly ever comes here. I usually go to his house. Such a nice house. I like it. I mean, I love it. That's why I bought it. <laughs> Goodbye, Mart. Goodbye, Amy. <laughs> you read it? I did. I imagine it rang a bell, didn't it? Well, sure, that's the whole point, isn't it? When two writers show up with the same story, it's all about who wrote the words first. I suppose that's why I came all the way up here from Mississippi. Mississippi? I wrote it seven years ago, 1997. That's what I, I really want to know. How in the hell did I steal my goddamn story? Drop it. Drop it? You said you wrote your story in 1997. I wrote mine in late 94. Let's try, Mr. Shooter, but I beat you by two years. Prove it! I don't have to prove a thing to you. Ellery Queen's Mystery Magazine, June 1995. Down to your house in Riverdale, New York, and ask your wife Amy for it? The hell? I read it on your book jacket. Uh huh? D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Divorce! It's not going to end until one or the other of us is dead. I'll give you three days. You call your ex and get her to send you the magazine with your story in it, and I'll be back. Three days. Always a pleasure to meet a reader. I wonder, I wonder if this is, this is honestly how he gets all his inspiration, yeah, being so far away from everyone else. Because I find it weird, bro, like, is this, is this typical, is this normal for a writer? Because I see movies about writers all the time and they're like this. So, is it true? Let me know, guys. Let me know, because I know there's some writers on my Patreon, yeah? I know that you guys tell me that you're writers. So let me know if this is how you guys operate, yeah? I don't want to call her. I want to go to sleep. I want to take a nap. I give her a call about the magazine. I go write some crap for a couple of hours. She goes... Don't be discouraged. <sighs> Sloth. Sloth. Very interesting movie, isn't it? <laughs> oh shoot, it's night time. I hate it. Uh, bro, is this alright? Cause I. Uh, uh, <laughs> Someone removed the lights. What the hell? Someone smashed it. Oh god. Bro, why are you going outside? Jesus Christ, my anxiety is going through the roof. God. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm crapping my pants! And I can't talk because I've lost my voice. No way, that's his dog. <gasps> his dog's under there. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, man. Poor dog. Oh my god. I sound so cringy talking. Chico? He killed Chico? Yeah. You've three days, I'm not joking, no police. <laughs> That's just about exactly the time that a fellow should get himself over to the police. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, that's, that's what I figured. I've got a detailed description. Type's a little harder. You have to get through the carbon. Anything you can find out about this guy, I'd really appreciate I must cut quite an intimidating... I'd, I'd like to know what I'm dealing with here, because maybe he's got a violent history. I mean, they pop up every once in a while. I suppose it's just the price of selling a few books. <laughs> here's the, uh, here's the description. Killing an animal isn't like killing a man. First thing I'm going to need is a description. Did you steal it? What? No. The stories being so much alike. Well, obviously the guy copied it from me. Would you like to choose a side? What do you want me to do? I want you to help me in the same way that, same way that you did before. He wasn't this crazy. Hmm. Are you going to help me or not? Uh, let's see. I can give you a couple of days. What happened? Hmm. Did you finally nail one of your groupies at a book signing? Omaha, Barnes and Noble? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I show him the magazine, but I think that maybe you should be with me when I show it to him. Remember my rate? Yeah. Obscene fortune, right? Get a good night's sleep. You don't look too hot. This is not my beautiful wife anymore. He's leant over. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, bro, he's dead. He's leant over. Look, look, you can tell. He's leant over. He's dead. He's gone. Oh, oh shoot. He fell asleep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was dead. He's scared. That's very reassuring. Thanks. Hey, relax, him and Wait, I was only out 10 minutes, swear to God. You think you'd be sticking around tonight or? No. Not unless you want me to. Oh, no. No, no, no sure it's fine. Ah, oh, no. In there. Under my bed. Check the roofs. Check the roofs. Check the walls. This guy's hiding in the walls. What the hell are you going to do with that sailor? Huh? Find out who else saw your nut job. Tom ah. Greenleaf passed by when I was talking to Shooter out on Lake Drive. He waved at us, so he must have gotten a good look at it. We know what you're doing. We wanted to stop. We're watching you. Yeah. Irv's Lake Cider, I think it's called. You know the place? Yeah, huh. I know. Yeah, I know. He knows the place. Okay. Right. Good night. Oh, the car's not gonna move. It's gonna stay on and not move. What the well, hell? What the what was that? Close the windows, man. <clears throat> oh man, my anxiety's going through the roof, guys. Please, someone get me through this. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I wonder if it was like a bat or something. Whatever it was, it was uh, a bit weird. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Close that goddamn door you just opened. If you don't come out by the time I count to five, I'm gonna come in swinging. Oh, The hell? That was a person, was it not? Bro, there was someone there. There was legit someone there in the mirror. What was the reflection of? What the hell? <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, I'm on edge. I'm on edge right now. Bro, is this a horror? What if this is not a horror? Jesus, give people some warnings. Okay, just gonna smoke. I'm just gonna totally smoke. Bro, I swear there was someone back. standing that got that mirror. Well, oh. you didn't smoke. Oh shit! I took it up recently for my health. How are you, Mr. Rainey? Well, it sounded like you pitched a fit or something in there. <laughs> I don't think stealing from another man, that don't seem to have ever bothered you none. I wonder if this shooter is actually real, if he's an actual real person. Maybe the neighbor didn't even see this shooter guy. Why didn't you get that magazine? You were down there at her house today, weren't you? What can we do? 
to make you feel better. I want you to fix it. What would you like me to fix? My ending. The one you wrecked. Mine was perfect. I don't think I even read your whole story. Oh, I bet you did. I'm sure that in time, her death will be a mystery even to me. I'd be more than happy to write your ending, Mr. Shooter. She's pretty. My wife? I'm telling you, bro, this guy's guy a spirit. This guy's a spirit or something, or a ghost, or a demon. But I'm starting to think you ain't going to leave me that option. I want to wake up from one of your stupid nap. <coughs> you can't get away with it. I know what you did, and I ain't quitting until right gets put right. Look at his bloody hair. Jesus. Bro, you've got the phone disconnected. Of course nothing's gonna happen. Thank you. God. Is that you, John Wayne? How may I assist you, Amy? What happened? What? Someone burned down our house. That's what happened, okay? What? Someone burned oh. down our house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. He's gonna be made to look like the major suspect too, that's the thing. Jesus. Especially now he wasn't answering the phones. Hi. Hi. Me too. Thank you, Ted. Mr. and Mrs. Rainey. Yes. Uh, you the owners? Mr. and Mrs. Rainey are the owners. I'm Stephen Bradley. I'm a detective with Riverdale PD. The uh, fire was started by an incendiary device made uh, with a champagne bottle and a couple of quarts of plain old gasoline. Enemies. You got any? No. No one. No, no, not a soul. Bother you if I answer one or two of these, Ted? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Ted, shut your mouth, Ted. I have none of you. Sorry I wasn't there to meet you this morning. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you very much, Mrs. Evans. These meetings are hard. People in your situation are already upset. I see what she did. And in this case, you've certainly given us a plausible suspect who will investigate aggressively along with the police. But in the meantime, I'm told there was a separation of residents recently, so that last bit might be particularly important. Everything's been negotiated. We're just waiting for it to be signed. In the meantime, do the best you can with the list. Thanks. Oh, piss off, Ted. <clears throat> You don't need to know anything. <clears throat> Do you actually intend to rubberneck? I hardly think my concern could be construed as rubberneck. Amy, he's rubbernecking. Okay, he's no, 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 he's right. Oh, no, he's right. Yeah, you might get something like Piss this off. if nobody minds, but it looks like Mr. Rainey does. Yes, Mr. Rainey minds a lot. It all matters if I uh, took a walk around the Yeah, take a walk around the block. Piss off. Wait, Lord, I need to ask you something. What? This guy, Shooter. That is the only time I've ever done anything remotely like that. I paid the guy everything he wanted. You and me and the lawyers are the only people that know about that, right? Right. Have you said something to Ted? Come on. Well, do I have time or what? I'm real sorry you had to miss that. I know how much you like my things. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, look, uh, marriage is in. I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't end yours. And I'll tell you something. I will not let you upset Amy any more than you already have. His lives. Jesus Christ. Are we uh, getting the message I'm sending? I was going to say Mississippi. No, long way from there. Shooter's Bay. Say what? Oh, bro, this is just getting more and more weird. Come on, gosh. Shut the door, please. Hell. I might ask you the same question. Relax, you're fine. I checked the cabin an hour ago. I hadn't had a chance to get the magazine out. Another one of the story says I stole. Do you still want to go through with it? Meeting him, showing him the magazine? Hell yes, man. I caught up with your Tom Greenleaf today. The guy who drove past you and Shooter on the Lake Road? Come to think of it, I didn't. Didn't see anybody. Wasn't even on Lake Drive on Tuesday. Shooter care of Tom Greenleaf knows he's here. Oh, it depends. I'm revising my opinion, Mort. I don't think Shooter's just some nut. Things get out of control. They go further than they're supposed to. Ted, Amy's Ted. The Ted that Amy left me for. What proof do you have that Shooter was there? Other than the manuscript. But that's what I was Bruises. just... That's what I was just about, <clears throat> about to say. 
maybe it was her lover, her now boyfriend, that's sent Shooter. You and me are going to go see Greenleaf together. All right. If he'll tell the police he was threatened to, then we've got something. All right, I'll see you there. And bring his six gun, Pilgrim. But the dreams he's having, the dreams that he's having, though, like, they're really weird dreams. I think they're trying to tell us something, but I just don't know. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to meet him. You're supposed to meet him at 9 a.m., bro. What are you doing still sleeping? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is freaking creepy. And I said freaking too, I didn't swear. Oh no. Sorry. Huh. Would you like it back? Did a guy come in here looking for me around nine o'clock? Nope. No, that doesn't ring a bell. I overslept. Well, maybe he did too, because he wasn't here. But Shooter was, because that's where he got the cigarettes from. That's his car. What the hell? But what is he doing all the way out of here? What are you doing here? Matter of fact, I was, I was just on my way over to your place. Came alone. Sure you did. I want you out of our life. Gotta sign your papers, Mort. My divorce papers? Mm hmm Tell her to send them to my lawyer. Because I'm afraid if we don't, well, who knows where it might go, and I think you know what I'm talking about. I don't respond well to intimidation. Makes me feel icky. No. It makes me feel oh, icky. Uh, conversation here. I buried my dog, mister. This whole thing is out of your control now. You know it, and I know it. Go back and tell that to your filthy little friend. Ah! Huh. God! Bummer, Ted. the other day walk down the path a little way anybody you call between now and then is your responsibility yeah right that's not creepy Tom Greenleaf oh shit oh my god What the actual heck, bro? Quarter past two. You've been out about three hours. And I would have moved you, but I didn't want to wake you. Whose screwdriver you think is in that fella's head? Huh. If you're going to find yourself standing with your head in the noose and your feet in Crisco. I did not steal your story. Oh, I expect you'll let yourself... I have the magazine, you lunatic. I have the magazine! You have this so-called magazine right now? On me? Not with that story in it. That story is mine. These others here were gonna get in the way of our business. I couldn't have that. You got some heavy lifting here first. I get to it if I were you. I will burn your life and every person in it like a cane field in a high wind. Wow. When I show you the magazine that has my name what on the acting. contents page with my story inside. What acting? Then what? Because if things turn out that way, then I suppose I am crazy. What Listen, amazing you got my hat. acting. I want it amazing. one way or the other. Amazing acting. These two, the chemistry between these two is unbelievable. He better not be still alive. I'll tell you that now, right now, this second. Oh, yuck. Oh, he's going to drive it straight into the river. Oh, shoot. Ah! Jesus Christ. Well, his watch was found in it. Your watch was in there. I hope that doesn't get you in trouble. I've been so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay, Amy. 
Why does she keep on ringing? ringing? You seem so strained. I mean, do you think things would have been different if we hadn't lost the baby? Oh. Jesus Christ. I don't. What is it, Amy? God. Breathe. Where are you? You're Ted's? Yeah. I'd love him, I guess. Oh. I always wanted to tell you that. I didn't go with other men. If we were over while we were still together, you might have mentioned it because it was news to me. You were gone all the time. I worked at home, Amy. Even when you were with me, you were gone up in your head. Yeah. I don't think that That's I what I looked say. in your eyes. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's all my fault. No. Ted wanted us to go and tell you together. He kept asking, and I kept putting it off. Yeah, because Ted's a dick. I forget that look on your face. <laughs> Will you call me if you need me? I doubt it. Can I come up there? You still haven't signed the papers yet, Mort. Don't you want to just get it over with? Unbelievable. You sound like you did six months ago, and I think it's my fault. I guess you should You're not going up there. I'm not going to dance around this anymore. I was married to the guy for 10 years. I know how to talk to him. And if I'll you be go back up there, seven. If you go up there, there's a guy out there that could just end it all for you. Hey, Mr. Amy. Sorry, my throat just kind of double clutched on me there for a second. It's the one thing I said. Oh, thank you. Post office would have a cow if they knew we handled the UPS guy's stuff. I know that, and I certainly appreciate it. You won't tell them, will you? Because I saw what you did. I'm sorry? I said they'd shoot me if you did. You ought to go home and lie down, Miss Rainey. What the hell? All right, either he's hallucinating or the people in this town are just weird. Got a minute? Well, no, I really don't right now, but um, I'm gonna call you on the phone, okay? Okay. Oh, dude, like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh, this final 20 minutes or so is gonna be painful to watch. It's been opened. Ripped it out. You cut it out. Cut it out of the magazine. I don't know. If now he's lost his mind and he's actually doing all these things, not shooter, not this shooter guy, he's gone crazy in his mind. And I wonder if he actually took the pages out of that book himself and that's how he copied I don't know why does he keep doing that with his jaw what the hell why'd you put it on I don't know maybe he wants you to maybe he wants me to what to get confused oh I'm already confused Pilgrim wait a minute now back up just a sec what about that Pilgrim Shooter's Bay are all these things coincidences I'm wearing his bruises, aren't I? Well, would you like to hear something that does make sense? Call the police before you kill anyone else. I didn't kill anybody. You had a gun. It wasn't loaded. You wanted to. The gun was not loaded. You still want to. Shut up! There is no John Shooter. There never has Stop. been. You invented him. See, I told you. Listen. Alone. Oh my god, what the hell? You're not handling this. But you do everything that you're doing. This is a really good psychotic film. What is he on Todd Down? He got to do everything. I'm starting to believe Todd Down. He was right. What is happening to me? Oh, I think you know. I exist, Mr. Rainey. I exist because you made me. I'm a dairy farmer from Mississippi. Gave me my name. Ah. Told me everything you want. He's got a split personality. Right up there, Tom. We were standing right there. Yeah, I know, Mort. I saw you. I know, Tom. Look, just pull over See, a second. See, there you go. I knew something. it. Absolutely knew it. We got things all Absolutely. cleaned up around here. Fix the story. That's right. 
got to fix the ending. And how exactly do you suppose we ought to do that? Killing his ex-wife. There you go. That's the ending. Yep. There you Mort. go. Oh, okay. She's walking into something that she doesn't want to. Oh, there's the papers. Two options here. She's either Gornski or Gorn. <laughs> Same thing. She's gonna bloody jump scare him, eh? Uh, he's gonna jump scare her. He's behind the door. He Mort. closes it and says, "I've been waiting for you." She's gonna get killed, isn't she? Yeah, oh, she's gone. <gasps> oh my god! Hi. Shoot her. Wait, where'd you get that old thing? The attic? It's mine. What? What's wrong? You got you a wrong number, missus. Ain't no more here. More's dead. Now, I never put a hand on him, missus. I swear. He took the coward's way out. I'm scared of you. It don't matter. And that's why I hate manual cars. That's why I bloody hate manual cars. I'm about done fussing with you. Oh, shoot. But right is right and fair is fair and something has got to be done. It was Mr. Rain all along. You are more brainy. I got it all picked out. <laughs> Uh oh. Hey, me. My bam. I think he just severed his head. I know I can do it. Todd down his head, upping himself to another ear of corn from the steaming bowl. Her death will be a mystery. Jesus. I suppose that's Give the end of the me. book. I suppose he finished his book. Bit psychotic if you ask me, but... Wow. Hi. Hey. Getting a few things straightened out. Sometime you might possibly be... I don't need a bag. Front door's open, I'm coming in. He was here. Mr. Rainey. I didn't hear you, come on up. How, how did you not hear him? What the hell? Glad you're here. I could use the break. Working lunch. I'm on a roll. Ah, headphones. Listen, both you and I know what you did. Oh. We'll find those bodies. We'll tie you to them. And you're going away. In the meantime, I'd appreciate it if you didn't come into town anymore. Makes people uncomfortable. Huh. You can do your shopping in New London. Sure. No problem. The only thing that matters is the ending. And this one is very good. He's a psychotic I know I can do it. Todd Downey said. And her death ah. will be a mystery. Ah. Well written. Well, well written. All right, go 
first, let me just change to the big screen. All right, let me just start off by saying magnificent performance by Johnny Depp. Seven out of ten for this whole movie, okay? Seven out of ten, guys. It wasn't an incredible movie, no. But seven out of ten. It was a showcase of how amazing the acting skills were, yeah? But in the end, I like the twist. The whole movie was a bit... Eh. But then the ending, the climax, was the twist. The climax was the best bit out of the whole movie. So I'm glad we only had to wait an hour and 36 because if it was two hours and 36, I think I would have rated it lower. But it was a seven. It was a solid seven. And I'm happy to say that because, like I said, Johnny Depp's acting was absolutely, absolutely sensational. And I think his name is John Tuturo. John Tuturo. I'm pretty sure that's his pronunciation. The guy that played Shooter. Their chemistry was incredible. And it just goes to show you Mort's split personality that developed when he was with his ex-wife at the time, Amy. It ended up turning him violent. Shooter, his split personality turned more violent into a violent violent person and for me it was it was incredible because i had moments where i was thinking maybe it's him that's doing all of this himself yeah because when that neighbor drove by he drove by like there was no one there and if you were the neighbor and you saw that quite literally mort was standing by himself talking to himself in the middle of nowhere wouldn't you be like, yeah, 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 I didn't see anything either. Like, quite literally. And then when Mort, find out that when Mort killed those people, it's like Mort killed his dog. <laughs> like I said, guys, throughout the film, it was great acting, magnificent acting. As a book, I think this would be a lot better. A lot better as a book. Secret Window would be really good as a book. Incredible as a book. But the best thing about this, like I said, guys, was the climax. The climax was the absolute best thing about this whole entire movie. And I take my hat off to, to, to them for producing a magnificent climax. So he got the end of the story. He got to end the story in the end. And I wonder if there's a number number two or maybe there's another book written similar to Secret Window to carry on with the storyline, yeah? But I doubt it because that was the ending to his story, yeah? So I dare say that's it. That's done and dusted. So, yeah, guys, like I said, for me, it was, a, it was, a, it was an okay film. It was a good film. It wasn't magnificent. It wasn't horrible. Just... It was a showcase of the two main actors, how good they are at acting, yeah? So, I take my hat off to them when it comes to that. So, alright guys, I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section if you did. Like I said, guys, a magnificent uh, performance when it comes to acting. Absolutely magnificent. Let me know in the comment section if you did enjoy it. Hit that subscription button down below. Also, you can go check this out in full. It's over on Patreon. And I'll speak to you all in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.